I'm going to do the two space copying collector example one more time, but this time we're going to look at it more in terms of numbers instead of pictures. Right. Uh, so to look at that we will look at memory as a sequence of numbers and as we talked about before with malloc when we allocate an object we put a number at the beginning of that object to say what kind of record it is. And that information is useful to the garbage collector. It tells it how big the object is and what kinds of things are in the object. So concretely let's suppose we have an interpreter that can work in 26 slots of memory. Let's just call it bytes because it's easier to say. Uh, now if we take this 20 byte, 26 byte memory and we do two space collector, that means we're going to use 13 bytes for each of the two spaces. And let's suppose that our interpreter only needs two registers. Finally, let's suppose that our interpreter has three kinds of objects. One with tag 1, tag 2, and tag 3. Uh, records of tag 1 have just an integer inside. So that would be like a numv, for example. We allocate the numv, but it has just an integer inside. Tag 2, that's let's say tag 2 corresponds to one pointer. So if we had boxes, that would be what something like tag 2. A box has just a reference to some other value inside of it. And then let's suppose that tag 3 means it's a record with one integer and one pointer. So tag 3 records are bigger than tag 1 or tag 2 records. Uh, an integer and a pointer, that be, might be a closure, because a closure has an integer for the code, right, a static reference to the code, and then a pointer to the allocated environment. Okay. But we don't have to care what exactly these tag 1, 2, 3s mean. The garbage collector doesn't care. All it cares about are the tag numbers and the shapes that come after that. Now let's suppose that memory looks like this. We've filled up our from space. Um, our, well, we filled up our to space, so now it's become from space when we do a collection. Um, our register here has a 7 in it, and that means a reference to the 7th byte in memory. This other register has a, a 0 in it, and that means a reference to uh, byte at index 0 there. So to make this easier to track, let's add address numbers under each of our points in memory. Right, so address 7 refers to an object that starts right here. Uh, it makes sense for an object to start here. We see that there's a 3 here. This has a 10, so it can't be the start of the object. But more generally, we can just start at the beginning of memory here and remind ourselves, okay, 1 is uh, means tag 1, there's one integer. So this is an object that has a single integer in it, so 75 is that integer. And then the next record has a tag 2, it has one pointer in it. And the next one is tag 3, which means it has two values, an integer and a pointer. Tag 3 and tag 3. Okay, so a garbage collector doesn't necessarily have to look at memory like that to, to keep track of where things start, but it's easier for us to, uh, to look at that to get going. What does the garbage collector do? It looks in the registers and finds out the objects that are referenced by the register. This register 1 has address 7, so we need to copy this object, 322, two, into 2 space. So I'm going to, uh, to take the 2 space here, which starts out all empty. I've got our red pointer, that is the gray objects that we've finished processing, and this other pointer down here, that's going to be where we're allocating into. So initially we're allocating into the beginning of 2 space, that means we're going to copy this object, 322, two, down there. At the same time as I copy that object down there, I'm installing 99.0 here. So 99 I'm going to use as the tag to mean uh, this object has already been moved. It's a, it's a forwarding pointer type tag. Uh, and it was moved to the new address 0. Uh, I should say that in reality you would have uh, from and to would have different addresses. But to keep it simple, we'll just recycle the addresses 1 through uh, 0 through 12 to be uh, both from and to space. We always know from context whether a pointer refers to to space or from space. In particular, after a 99, that's a pointer in 2Space. Besides installing the 99.0, we also installed um, this 0 in register 1, because that's where we moved the object that used to be at address 7. We moved it to address 0 in 2Space. That was our first register. We have another register. It refers to address 0, which is this object 175. So we will move 175 down and set up the forwarding pointer to 3, because that's where we moved the new object to. Now we're done with the, the setup phase of the garbage collector. It has traversed the registers, marked those two objects gray, and now we start looking at gray objects. So this pointer here selects the gray object that we're looking at. There's a type tag 3, so that means the object is these three bytes right here. And the first thing in type tag 3 is an integer, so that means this 2 is just an integer. It's not like an orange pointer in the, in the picture form. But this 2, that is supposed to be a pointer, so that means it's an address in from space, that means it refers to this object right here. 
And so we want to paint this object gray by copying it down uh, right here. And as we do that, we install the forwarding pointer and we updated that old 2 to 5 because 5 is the address, the new address for the allocated object. And we were done processing that object. So then we move the, the red pointer forward, um, in effect painting that object black. To look at this next gray object, it has tag 1, which means 75 is just an integer. There are no outgoing references, so we're already done with that object. Now we have an object with tag 2. It says it has one pointer in it, so 0 is a pointer. But if we follow that 0 in from space, we find that it's an already copied over object, and it was copied to address 3. So we're going to change this 0 to 3 and otherwise leave things alone, and we're done with that object. And at this point, our gray traversal pointer is caught up with our allocation pointer, so that means we're done with all the objects that we've carried over. And happily, this garbage collection made 6 bytes of space, which is not bad in a space of uh, if you only have 13 bytes to work with, so hopefully that interpreter will be able to proceed.